Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba and you are the most welcome to this tutorial and uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a belt conveyor and it supports and uh, the best tools to apply to create this. We'll get started right away. If you take a look on the screen here, you can see I have two, two supports in place already and I'm assuming this sh it should not be uh, a, a very difficult thing to do as of now if you've been following this channel for, for for some time and if you're new and this is your first uh video to bump in on this channel i'll be able to show you how this was created i'll come to view here and i'll come to navigate here and what i did uh, i just came to column right there comes it came to steel and pick on the column and uh, i snap on that spot and once i did that i double clicked on that column and come to position and i changed that height uh, that height uh, below the grid line to zero so when I uh, went and click modified uh, modify it went to, to top of the grid and adjusted this height to to 800 r right there and the, the and this is how it looks and I double clicked and changed this profile to to a different profile remember this is a US metric environment and I went to the C channel I'll minimize that and come to see C profile here and I picked on that and I picked on this and this how I arrived I, I arrived here this how it looks and now having showed you that I'll come to view and rotate this and these are the supports for our uh, horizontal conveyor this will be a conveyor uh, this will be uh, a straight conveyor to it is not an, an inclined conveyor now uh, my grid line is this it stretch it is it is it it stretches all the way to uh, one to to that meter 27 meters in length and what i'm going to do right here now is just to place uh, the the column basis i'll come to concrete right there and come to pad footing right there and pick on pad footing and i'll snap on that spot and uh, here i'll come to base plate and i'll pick on the base plate here and pick on, and select on the on, on the on the column i want to place the base plate under and uh, snap on that spot and give it some time to uh, to translate that information and here we are and it has not placed anything here so i'll go ahead and click that uh, red con symbol right click and come to delete i'll get rid of that i've gotten rid of wrong component so let me just pick on that and come to base uh, uh, us base split and i'll come to view i'll come to navigate and try to point the exact position where i intend to place uh, uh, this component and select that column and point the position right there and give it some time to translate there it is and it has been uh, placed in the exact position we intended it to be on i'll right click and come to redraw to refresh everything and i'll turn this down like this and you can see our color our our conveyor supporting column has been uh, bolted correctly on uh, a concrete a concrete uh, base now i'll just select all this press control and isolate the grid line i'll right click and come to copy and i'll pick it from that uh, position and take it to that point so that both both the both this column this column to be anchored uh, properly on uh, a concrete uh, column basis now i'll right click to refresh in order to remove all these symbols that indicates or uh, uh, that indicates the connection of base plate here now uh, i'll come here and try to weld this against this one just type weld weld right there so i'll pick this i'll weld this to that and try weld that to that weld this to this weld that to that right click and come to redraw and everything has been welded and uh, if you try to check whether it is assembly just press alt and you'll be able to see you'll be able to see that it is welded or if that if that fails 
the moment you see a, 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 a green cone here means the connection or the macro has connected uh, has created a connection successfully now i want to populate this along this grid line at a distance of at a distance of three meters center to center let me just check that that's point that point and to this point that is three meters just check at the bottom end here we have it there now i'll right click i want to populate this along this grid at a distance of 27 meters first of all let's check the distance first i'll snap on that spot and stretch all the way to this end and check that this is 27 meters and how many do you want you want nine of them so once i've selected that i come here and isolate uh, the grid and come to linear and come to the z-axis so i'll uh, feed in three meters and prefix that dimension with the negative sign and i'll type here here nine uh, components or nine copies then click ok and give it some time to process that information there it is and everything has been copied to the last point i'll right click and click redraw to refresh and remove anything that clogs uh, our area of work now this is how it looks now i'll turn it like this so that we start from grid one and i want to place uh, a small beam or a small member on top of this column simple columns then i'll come to beam i'll pick on the beam and i snap on this spot and stretch all the way to this end i'll place it right there so this is the wrong member and this too big and is not apl applicable so this is uh, this is just a default uh profile which we will go further and modify to meet our requirements so i'll double click on it and come to select and uh, i'll minimize that i'll come to c sections i'm, I'm going to see, use c profiles and i'll come to mc and uh, pick and i'll pick 100 here and pick that and i click apply and I give it and give it an okay apply and, and uh, uh, modify apply give uh, give an okay there by clicking on k button right click and come to move here i want to move it straight on top here i'll move it on top right there so what i'm going to do is is very simple i'll uh, come all the way here and uh, let me just uh, turn it in a better way in which i'll be able to see every corner of this i'll right click and i'll snap right here and stretch all the way i want to i'll, I'll snap all the all, I'll stretch all the way to that uh, to that to that that's 12 meters which means we are pro we've, we've completely utilized the standard length of this profile so i'll snap right there i'll double click on it and come to position and take it on front so that it sits top and i don't want it on I don't want it on the middle i want it slightly at the edge there so what i'm going to do again is so, uh, so i'll select on this member then come to copy i'll select it at the center right there and move it all the way to the section there and check whether it has stretched all the way to all the way off our marked points it's slightly below but with the minimum uh, measurement so i'll just double click and prior to double clicking to change the length we'll first of all come here and uh, try and check the distance here we'll come to edit and come to measure and i'll try to check this this distance here and uh, we'll find it is, it is 51 and how do we adjust that to match uh, and uh, to flash with this the, the, with this far end i'll double click there then come to position then uh, i'll try and uh, feed that 51 here and try to see whether it will stretch or it will extend it, it hasn't extended and that that indicates that we are trying to extend on a wrong a, a wrong a wrong side so i'll go ahead and click apply and go try it on the on that end and that creates an extension so in here i'm try i want to mirror this to this to this end i'll try this i'll select all these and prior to doing that let me reorient my X, xyz plane and i'll place my xyz plane right here and once i've placed my xyz plane here there i'll select all these these members 
I select all that all those members then it comes to special copy and I'll pick mirror and pick right at the center here and try to mirror that on the other end and this is how it looks nicely done now I want to reinforce or or, or brace these these two members on top here I'll come to steel once again and come to beam and I want to brace it from this end to that end and try try and move it manually or you can just adjust it automatically using these basic tools available here we can either take it left and that is wrong this is only able to work if we bring back our XYZ plane to a default position so exactly this is exactly what we are going to do so we'll place it on a default position here and come back here and try to move this to right and click OK it hasn't moved at all to the best position and to avoid that we know what to do with this we just pick it now and uh, uh, bring it uh, snap on that on that spot and bring it right there and bring it right there so you can see a slight extension here I'll double click on that double click on that then come to position get rid of this 51 and cl click apply and accept that so this is how it, it will look and I'm going to uh, click rotate and remember this will be bolted or, or welded on top of this column so what do we do from here it's, it's very simple we, we are going to place uh, at the uh, the idlers where the belt will be running on top the, the idlers has uh, three rollers on each idler now I'll just type here idler idler now I'll click inside here and click this my tree material idler and then we'll click on that so I'll, I'll click on the, on the drop down arrow and try to modify this to fit uh, to fit my requirements so instead of using this I'm going to use a different one I'll come to material idler I'll come to material belt idler I'll double click on that then I'll try to check this I'll use my preset settings then I'll click load and uh, once I've done that I'll follow this I'll follow this the, uh, the instruction I'll pick this as my main uh, main part then go all the way to this end and pick this as my secondary part but at, at this far end we are no we've not placed a member right there so what we are going to do is it's very simple just select on this then come to copy then we'll pick it from that spot then drag it all the way to this far end and place it right there then we we'll come back to material belt idler double click on it then we we'll come to our previous uh, preset that we, we 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 saved and click load and then uh, we define the positions where we intend to place uh, the material idlers which carries the belts now I'll pick the main part which is, which is that then move all the way to this end and pick the secondary part then then define the points I want to start placing my my idler from that spot then uh, go to the second point to this end and place it right there though so now I'll give it some time to process the information there it is right click and click interrupt and this what we have has a belt conveyor this is what we have perfect so I'll, I can go further and close this and close everything here and try to turn this round so I'll double click on this material uh, uh, idler, uh, belt idler and show you how you can manipulate this we have the belt line design and we have the belt uh, um, the Id idler design you can change the size of the rollers you can change the span of the belt by default the rubber belt normally uh, the, the width is normally ranges from a meter to 800 uh, ranges from 800 to 1 meter in width and the length is variable it can stretch to whichever length of your preference so you can uh, 
adjust all this to meet your requirements now i'll go ahead and click ok because i'm i'm uh, i'm i'm happy with what i've just done but this is just to show you how you can quickly uh, create uh, a drawing for a belt conveyor and that is the way it's done and let me just turn this around so that you can have a, a better look at it now this is how it looks from a different view and i'll turn that around once again and you can take a look on that so the the, the gray one on top here this is a, re a representation of a belt so let me just first of all disable the assembly so that i can click on the belt here we have the belt we have the belt here and we have the belt here these uh, are the representations of belt belts rubber belt or is a rubber belt mostly used in the cement industry or uh, or in quarry where they make the aggregates so this how it looks and thanks a lot for watching this video and this channel and let's meet on the next presentation i'll show you more about this on how to create or go into details about uh, uh, on, in, on on belt conveyor uh, creation thanks a lot and let's meet then bye bye